Thank you for purchasing from Garbage Commander. Happy to bring these videos of how to install our products. In this video, we're going to do the assembly of the bumper hook MT. This is the mounting base that we're going to start out with. We're going to tip it. You get two pads. There's one that's just temporarily taped together. That'll go first. And then you have your smaller one that actually hooks up or not hooks up, but it touches the bumper. You'll notice that it's recessed four places for the washer in the back of the bolt. So first step is let's get our washers in place. followed by our three quarter or our quarter inch by inch and a quarter bolt. And then all we do is we're gonna line up the holes on the extended pad. So they pop through. And then we're just gonna put it from this side back so that we'll have our black quarter inch neoprene washer to hold it. And once we get these finger tight, we're going to grab our 7 16 set of either open end or sockets. And we're going to tighten the neoprene to where just the bolt wants to sneak past or, you know, not too tight because we don't have to be super tight on it or it's going to distort the back pad. Now that we have our pads mounted to the base, we can set that aside for a second and do the arm. With the mountain hook, we give you a 12 inch arm that has two hole settings. The outer hole settings will be for a 12 inch set. The inner will be nine inch. And at this step, you should have gone out to your garbage can and made sure that you know which setting you're gonna to wanna to use. And just holding them up and temporarily taking an eyeball it will help. So we're just gonna, for this, we're gonna use the outer holes. In your hook, you'll have a return flange and then a tab on the bottom side. The face is gonna be where the hook has the angle. So put your quarter inch by one inch bolt, take your support arm, the 3 8 hole will be on top, And just slip it in where that little tab will come up and tighten up along the bottom side of your support arm. Next take your retainer bracket, put that in to where it's snug up to the bottom side of the support arm. Use your lock washer and nut and get that hand tight. Repeating the process. Now for tightening, I always like to push the retainer bracket up nice and snug, holding my hook in place, just kind of start it, lining them up, and then going ahead and finishing so that it's parallel to each other.
And there we have the support arm. Mounting the support arm to the base, we're gonna use the 3 8 by one inch nut or bolt. The washer, which goes up underneath this is the bottom side of the support arm, and it'll be between the base. And then our neoprene 3 8 bolt nut. Here we're going to use the 916th set of wrenches. And we're going to tighten, keeping in mind that the neoprene nut does have a lot of resistance when you're tightening it. So we want to get this wobbling out. So it does take a little bit of time to work that bolt or the nut all the way up. So you can start feeling it snugging up and you get it just about to the point where it's nice and snug but it still can turn and there we've got the major part of the assembly done now going out to your car or truck the hook is going to mount to the center latch of your trunk's you know, lid we put that on and here's where we'll do the adjustments and the straps so we're pulling them, pulling both of them equally to make it so that it might be higher depending on your vehicle. And then once you get that to where the center pad is going to rest in the center of your bumper, we're going to determine that's where our point's going to be. We're going to take these elongated straps that hopefully you got enough left over. They're going to fold over each other and we gave two zip ties and we like to just use these because it's going to lock the strap in at that height. So with the zip ties, just take and snug it up on both ends. And that's all there is. And now we just take a little scissor, cut off the extension. If you want to get rid of some of this extra strapping material, that's fine. I'd still leave around two to three inches. So once we got that done and it's all tightened up, we're going to go to your vehicle, mount it, and then once it's mounted, it's a simple process, take your garbage can, the lid will rest or the handle will rest into our channel, and once the handle's in the channel, we'll use our PTO clips. And the PTO clips just slip through the top holes between the uh, hook and the retainer bracket. You do it on both sides and you're set to start towing. Again, I want to thank you for purchasing our products. And remember, hashtag Master the Can.